Let's move on. 1972 Olympic bronze medalist Prince Amati has been honored with a fully stocked mini mart by the Ghana Armed Forces for his service to the nation. The 77 year old who is now in a wheelchair has had many economic and health struggles over the years and currently lives with his family in the Volta region. Who Amati also served in the army as a corporal and the brief commissioning ceremony uh, held at the 66th Artillery Regiment Volta Barracks in Ho. It was performed by the Chief of Defence Staff, Vice Admiral Set. Um, and my colleague Nathaniel Lato has the rest of the story. There in the background is the Volta Barracks uh, 66 Artillery Regiment uh, Band. And uh, they are just playing a few, you know, uh, you know, folklore tunes to herald an event that has gone to celebrate somebody who definitely, uh, you know, qualifies as a hero in our sporting history and in our national lives. To the recipient, may the proceeds that arise from this shop continue to provide sustainable income to Prince Amate. Prince Amate, the bronze medalist from the 1972 Olympic Games, has been honored by the Chief of Defense Staff and the Ghana Armed Forces for his uh, contributions to the nation. Of course, this comes after several years of his, uh, you know, living conditions which had become very, very deplorable. Today, I'm just uh, finding myself some very good company, a few people who worked very hard towards this. Now, um, I've just seen Alberto Mario Noretti, who's the journalist who brought this to the, you know, uh, to the attention of the public. He is a journalist with the Ghanaian Times. Uh, Mario, good to see you. How are you doing? Fine. Mm. You must be a very, very uh, satisfied person today, seeing what was done earlier today. I am very happy because I started this almost three decades ago and I never gave up. I am happy, very. And I'm happy for Prince Amate himself. Now, um, tell me, uh, what was it that, that struck you about, about his, his story? Yeah, I read about him when I was a child. That when I was growing, I realized he was my neighbor a few houses away from mine. And after GIJ, when I became a journalist, I decided to help to highlight his plight and also seek support for him with my pain. I started and I never gave up. I never gave up. Thank you very much and uh, congratulations. Uh, great job done. Alberto Mario Noretti there, he's the man who brought everything to the plight of uh, Ghanaians uh, through his pen as a journalist. Well, um, I could also see a few more people. Um, as you can see, uh, the Chief of Defence Staff is here. He performed the commissioning of, uh, you know, this facility, which is a fully stocked shop. And uh, he's in the company of the legendary John Nawu, who is also an Olympian and who participated in the 1968 Games. Let me just see if I can steal a minute or two from, um, you know, the Chief of Defence Staff. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's great to see you, sir, and you look good. Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you very much. How, how do you feel personally as an individual, considering that you work in a state institution that believes very much in service of the nation, after this gesture that you made earlier today? I, I, I'm so delighted, particularly when seeing people like Mr. Nau, whose name I heard when I was a kid in primary school, that in the 60s, they used to call Gokipa Nau. And today I've seen him. It's, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing. But it's good to honor all of them who sacrificed their life and did so much for, for our country. So it's very good to, to participate in this uh, ceremony. What did, what did me, Mr. Prince Amate say to you that moment after you cut the tape and uh, you ushered him into the shop? All he could say was, thank you, thank you, thank you. He, 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 he was so delighted, excited for, for the honor that has been done to him. And so he was full of appreciation. And I, I, I think that is the spirit. Oh. What will we say? Thank you very much and we salute you, sir. And uh, thank you very much too. Now, uh, we will try to catch a moment with the legend himself, uh, Mr. Prince Amate. Thank you very much for your time and uh, good to see you. How are you doing? Good, sir. Tell me how you feel today after everything that has been done for you by uh, the Ghana Armed Forces. Well, very, very happy. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, um, he has at least been able to express his gratitude to the nation. Uh, remember that he's not in the best of health, but at least he's been able to say thank you for everything that has been done for him by the nation. Well, it is always said that a nation that does not honor its heroes is not worth dying for. What has been done here by the Chief of Defense Staff, Vice Admiral um, Seth Amama, is something which obviously is worth emulating. It's been a wonderful day here at the uh, Volta Barracks, and we're very sure that all the other achievements that will be made by other sportsmen on big stages like the Olympic Games will go acknowledged and they will not take this much time to be acknowledged. Nathaniel Atto from the Volta Barracks in the Volta Regional Capital of Ho.